Right. Wait, who's doing the intro? I thought I was doing it. Do you want to do it? You can do it. I'll do it. Alright, who do you want to do it? Do you want me or you? Hi guys, welcome back to JJ Loves Fighting. Brad, Joseph James, JJ. Today we're going to do some work on some Southpaw and how to fight a Southpaw. Everyone knows how tricky it is to fight a Southpaw. First of all, they get to fight us right handed guys, nine times out of ten, because there's like one in ten people are left handed. So they got the advantage of constantly, constantly training with us right handers all the time. Whereas, well, I got no left handed people at my gym, but I'm like a 16 year old kid, so I got no, no help. So today I'm going to talk you through some basics. I'm going to use my lovely assistant Joe here. I'm going to go through some moves, some drills to show you how to bet yourself and how to counter a good left handed fighter. To start off with guys, I'm going to show you where you're going to place your feet and I'm going to show you how to do the basic counter. So the basics are then guys, I want to make sure that my lead leg is on the outside of his lead leg, right? You have seen it so many times in MMA where I say, I was fighting Joe right now and he beats my lead leg and I go to throw a backhand and Joe throws a backhand. Boom! And at the same time, he throws his, he'll always beat me, right? Even if I throw a hook from this position, I throw a lead hook, Joe throws a lead hook at the same time. Boom, he'll always beat me. So what we have to do, we have to concentrate on making sure our lead leg is in front of his. A few little tricks for this. What I like to do is make sure I'm always here. Now to do that, I can use a jab. I prefer to use a backhand. So I use a backhand here, and now my head is on the outside, and his foot is on my inside. So now we can zoom back up to where we are. We're here. So now, from here, if Joe throws a jab now, I can beat him using my backhand. Given he Joe's so small, he's like my girlfriend, I could just throw him no matter what. He could hit me and break his wrist. But from here, this comes down, right down the pipe. I'll show you from a few angles. So, Joe here is going to throw a jab, and as a counter, I step to the outside, and here I use my backhand. Now from here, we can do all sorts of wonderful sexy stuff. If you've seen um, the Silly Lemachenko at the moment, from here, he'll start hitting all sorts of stuff. From here, here, bang. He'll start coming in here, as he throws it, hit it, he'll come up behind you. Emma May is better, foot sweeps, take the back, single leg. So from here once again, I beat him here, then my single leg to double, Joe's so light, I can just lift him. <laughs> right, same again from here, to here, run the pipe, high crotch, take the back. Right, all links in, this is why it's so effective. From here he throws the jab, bang! The best counter. Same counter again guys. He throws that jab, I could double it up, boom, boom. Or I could do the Conor McGregor. So as he throws the jab, boom, boom, son, boom, boom. Right? Now if I chase him now, here, and he goes back, now he tries the level change, boom, boom. So that's why that's so effective. Now we've got to try and find other ways of getting there because he knows the same moves we do. Right now, a little move I picked up back in the day. I'm going to get a look at my footwork again. Here. All right. As soon as Joe closes the distance, I step, I throw the hook. Now, as I step with that hook, Joe comes forward, boom. I throw that hook high here. My head comes in just above belly button height, above the manhood height. Here. Now, coming here, I can roll my head through, bang. I end up on the outside. Show you this again, he comes in, bam, bam, and guess what? In terms of kicking, if I'm here, Joe being the southpaw, he's got the advantage because he's got my liver. Ugh! We've done a video on this already, it's not pleasant. Now if I beat Joe, here, now he throws a liver kick, very difficult. <laughs> so, from here, to beat it for the kick, you can use the other tricks we've done earlier. One. Hey, see how I caught him? See how I caught him there? So, we're here, nice and chill. I can use the little hook, pull him on the outside. Once again, hook on the outside. I took away his kick, I've got my kick. Same as my knees. Come on the outside, I've killed his kick, his kick's gone. But I got boom, I've got my knee. So I'll show you that knee again. Changing the stand, I hook to the outside, here. Boom, boom. We've got the Conor McGregor, head on the outside. Uppercut, straight. Now when Connor done that, he does it with such accuracy and snap, he's incredible. Connor likes to sit back, he likes to edge his uh, opponents on. Ah, oh, oh, you weigh less than a girlfriend, you fucking pussy on. Nice, <laughs> sit, sit back. <laughs> Talking dribble, Connor sits back in this lovely stance. He's always, if you look at Connor's footwork, it's amazing. He's always balanced. He's here. Pop, pop, pop. Or pop, pop, pop. And as 
he comes in, his footwork is amazing. And one of the best things Conor McGregor does is that little pull, little dip he does. So he'll be here, and then say for instance, Joe throws a straight. So he throws a backhand, you go boom. Just here, do that again, boom. Do that again, boom. He has an unreal timing, he has a real good ability just to really send a boom, boom, boom. Against Aldo, for instance. You don't have the Aldo, it's easy for a punch. Dip, bang, world title. 13 seconds, shocked everyone. Dealing with a South Force jab, guys. One of the things I had to learn against Scott Askham, I had to kill his jab because he was taller than me. I had a longer reach, but he still had an extra inch and a half on me. But Joe keeps his hand high here, and if I want a jab, he can keep pulling it down, pulling it down. And what he can also do is pop and pop it in. So Joe can pop, 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 and again, pop, 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 and they in. So that's one way of killing it. If you're the taller guy, it's even worse. So I'm here now, and I'm fighting little JJ. From here, you can just pat that down. And I tell you what, Joe, how tiring is it on that deltoid there? Tiring, bop, bop, and then pass. Right, so go home and drill this. So hopefully you get a, a brief understanding about why it's important to stand on the outside. It was a real basic video. I didn't want to throw too much at you. We will do a more complicated video for like stage two, or phase two of your secret martial arts training so we can beat Tai Chi fighters. Keep pointing this video up to the outside. I love leading with my back hand, here. Boom, boom. Right, if you want to get real sexy, real funky, outside, bang, bang, step. Now for MMA, this is brilliant. One, two. Ah. I sent a fly with my ninja. Right, so go home, practice this, make it second nature, all right? These are real basic techniques. Please like and subscribe, guys. Share it. Share everyone you know. Please make me famous. You know, money, money, money. Give it to me. Make you famous. Make me and Joe famous. Thank you. Adios, guys. See you next time.